finale. Let's get to it, baby. Awesome Marcos here. And he's here to talk about his badass championship match against Bullstorm that Bullstorm made official himself by declaring the winner of Recto versus Marco the number one contender. Let's see what this big boy has to say. My boy, Awesome Marcos. Recto Planet much respect. Let's get to the point. Saturday, September 4th, I'm officially back on pay-per-view. And I'm back on pay-per-view to do one thing that I've been ridden from doing for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, and that's getting championship gold. I was the first ever UWF world champion, and damn it feels good to hold that throne. It feels good to be the man that started the hype that is this show, UWF Pain. And Bullstorm wanted to make that match the official number one contenders match. Well, Bullstorm, thank you, but at the same time, you should think about the actions that you put on yourself. You see, me and you have clashed once in that ring, and I lost to Bullstorm. That was a while ago, Bullstorm, and I wasn't in the same headspace that I'm in right now. I got a championship match ahead of me at zero hour against you. And the thing between me and you is when I'm in my full A game, 100% ready to kick ass mode, Bullstorm, you don't stand a chance. Nobody would stand a chance. You know Archangel? Only man to pin him twice or ever for that matter is me, and that'll, it'll stay that way, I promise. I know Archangel, and I know Chris Sean, and I like to be honest with the people. For Bullstorm, you're not Archangel. You're far from him, and that's... Speak of the devil. You know, they say legends never die. And I'm starting to understand why they say that now. It's because they never shut the fuck up. You see, you want to act like you're tough shit here? Let me ask you something. If you're so great, so great, then why do you need to be carried by Saigo Otoko? Your, uh, your past enemy. You don't want to make enemies. You want to make friends, and then you want to act like... You actually, uh... Obviously you don't watch the show, you don't know what goes on, you don't care as much, and you're never on it, so why would you watch it, right, Bull? But now you've got a championship, because you beat Dave Glory in a shocking upset. You know what's going to be upsetting for you at Zero Hour is when I do what I say I'm going to do. Me and you are going to have a match, I know what you're made of. you got potential, but Awesome Marco gives you that potential. I'm the co-anchor yeah. of this show. Yeah, mm. here's the thing. Go ahead. It's my time to shine. They never gave me that opportunity. They gave that to you. You delivered, but you've fallen far from the glory days. No pun intended. So, if you want to sit here and make it seem as if this is going to be some great match, you're mistaken. You're going to bore the audience. Well, the difference between me and you is there will never be any glory days for you. This will be a great transitional title run into the awesome Marco run that will rule season five. And you see, Bullstorm, the thing between me and you is there's a difference. Yeah. You never got your moment, but you're going to get your moment. But it's going to be an infamy when Bullstorm is known as the one false champion that held the title just to give it to me at zero hour, baby. Right. And that's right. the truth. All right. Here's what you're doing right now, okay? I have a raging fire inside of me, and you're nothing but ashes. And you're reaching into those ashes, and you're trying to find this ember, and you're blowing on it, and you're hoping you can start a fire. But here's the thing, Marco. That fire's gone. There's no fire, no passion, no nothing in you. You're shit. And you know it. Looks like so the tornado yeah, is running through Oklahoma! Yeah! The, the Bullstorm is running through Oklahoma! Yeah! Bullstorm. Talk is cheap. We'll be walking at zero hour. And the words you're spitting at me right now will be nothing more than words that 
nobody will ever remember because they won't need to be remembered because they'll forget everything that you ever said and the run that you never had. Right. Well, here's the thing. They're not going to remember the words I said, but the matches I gave and the glorious pin that I'm going to put on your stupid ass in that ring. So let me tell you something. Are you ready for that? Are you ready to put, be put down? Are you ready for the quote-unquote glory days that you're looking forward to to be put to a fucking end? Because let me tell you something. Those aren't your days. They're mine. Did I get you pissed off, Bull? Did the truth hit you hard? Some people can't handle the truth, Bullstorm. And Oklahoma knows this. The world knows this. Bullstorm. At zero hour, I'm going to make a promise to you. And I'm... I'm not angry because I'm cool, calm, and collected because I know exactly what I'm walking into and exactly what I'm walking out with. A promise is I walk in and I make you live in infamy for the rest of your career. And Bullstorm, when I say what I say, it's always the case. And you have been talking and slurring and speaking and speaking your mind and trying to sound somewhat logical, but all the words that you're spitting out will be choked back in when I kick your face in and knock you out at zero hour. And that's the truth, buddy. I'll see you then. Wow. There's a very big difference between Bullstorm and Austin Marco. Bullstorm is furious. He's raging. Austin Marco's not. He stayed calm the entire time because I think he knows exactly what to do.